speak, <laughs> grated radish um, like this type. It's mooly. And to that, season it up with some chili salt, black pepper. juice and we're making a vegetable sushi tiny bit of cayenne to me that's a tiny bit so this is this is this is effectively my rice Perhaps I could have used a bigger spoon, but it's all good. Fingers and a spoon. I'm sure hands and fingers were the first cutlery. Cucumber, red peppers, delicious avocado, baby spinach and some lettuce. So sushi nori sheet, which I've cut into triangles. Make sure your chopping board is nice and dry. Then to start constructing. You don't want to overfill them, otherwise they'll be difficult to roll. But it's not, it's it's not difficult to overfill them either, because they're very very tasty. And then I'm going to put some of the mooli over the top. The raw version of rice. And then to balance out the flavours, some grated carrot. Cucumber. Peppers for colour and flavour. These are getting quite full actually, and I haven't even put my avocado on yet, which is actually my favourite piece. Avocado will never go to waste in this house, never. See? <laughs> Roll them up like this. And then a bit of water actually helps it to stick. Falls out, just stick it back in. Got a nice plate of salad with um, pickled beetroot. These are actually really good for parties or gatherings. I mean, perhaps don't fill them up so much. But this is for my dinner, and I'm very hungry. So, that's for my dinner. And that is essentially a teriyaki sauce. I mean, you could go fancy and do a plum, or cashew, raw cashews, and apricot, nothing like that, but once 
that sugar has actually melted in. My name's Esther and this is The Living Fruit, so thank you for watching.